you've ever wondered what it's like to live in outer space, some children in South Yarra have the answers. The lucky students scored the chance to speak with a NASA astronaut I'm as he came to Earth. And Stephanie Anderson was there. I am in it. It's an out of this world opportunity. Connecting kids in South Yarra to outer space. That's the voice of NASA astronaut Mark Vanderheide, and he's coming in loud and clear from his post on board the International Space Station. What are the best and worst things about being in space? Over. The problem is when I put something down, I have to always be very careful to secure it because. It's uh, easy for things to get lost. What are your main thoughts about space, knowing that you should expect the unexpected? Over. Victoria, great question. Um, I think anytime we run into some type of an emergency, the very first thing we have to do in space is slow ourselves down to make sure we're being very calm. They're the burning questions these oh, buddy yay. space buffs want the chance to ask, entering a school competition to earn their place at the earth end of the radio. With a student who wrote a, a wonderful song related to the International Space Station, we had students create video games to simulate being on the surface of Mars. And they also did their research on the astronaut they get to meet through the airwaves. He's done a spacewalk, he did it in 2017, um, and it, it, it lasted about seven hours. Since then, Van der High has blasted off on a second mission, and this one will set a new record for the longest single space flight by an American. The father of two is more than 200 days into what will be almost a full year orbiting 400 kilometres from Earth, so moments of contact like this are special for all involved. <laughs> how does microgravity feel in space and how does it affect you? And happy birthday. Over. George, you're going to be choked up. Um, uh, my gravity feels like in space, it's like being on the Now, if you're wondering what technology it takes to make an outer space connection, <laughs> this is it. It looks relatively simple, but it takes a team of dedicated volunteers and some very specific timing to get the experience like this off the ground. We get about a 10 minute uh, window from when it appears over one horizon to when it passes overhead and it disappears over the horizon behind us. Antennas track the station's position and technicians in the US help connect the calls. It's a carefully scheduled operation that these volunteer operators relish because for them it only rolls around twice a year. We're passionate about the technology and this is our opportunity to share our passion with the students and make that connection. A connection that's one small commitment for a man in space but one giant experience for some bright young stars. Once in a lifetime opportunity, I don't remember anyone ever telling me, oh my God, to talk with an astronaut. So yeah, gives me a lot of bragging rights. Stephanie Anderson, <laughs> Nine News. That is so cool.